Bismillah. Hello, welcome back. In this class we shall discuss the basic arithmetic in MATLAB. A few exercises are here. All are one line commands. Let us see one by one. Let us perform 0 divided by 1, which is 0. 1 divided by 0. Any number divided by 0 is infinity. And 0 divided by 0, it is, uh, you cannot determine it. It is not a number. Let us switch over to MATLAB. Now the first one, 0 divided by any number is equal to 0. And 1 divided by 0, any number divided by 0 is INF, infinity. And 0 divided by 0 is not a number. Okay. Let us switch over to the second question. Let us draw the plot of sin x. Okay. So first I declare x as a symbol, symbols x. Then there are various ways either you can use the plot command with various values of x and y or an easy plot is there, e z plot and what is the function you want to plot, sin of x. So now this you get a plot which ranges from minus 2 pi to plus 2 pi. We can switch on the grid by switching on the toggling the grid command and here you can see that the grid is on and you can verify that the value of sin 0 is equal to 0 and in the title the function name appears what is the function name the sin x this is a continuous curve which will keep on going but here uh, by default uh, ez plot prints only from uh, minus 2 pi to plus 2 pi okay the next question plot e power minus 0.2x into sin x over the domain we shall use the same way here we can use the ez plot and the command is e means exponential of minus 0.2 multiplied by x then multiplied by sine of x already we have declared x as a, a symbol therefore now my uh, uh, curve is this one you can find that the title exponential of minus that is divided by 2 is 0.2x multiplied by sin x. So this one as usual it plots only from minus 2 pi to plus 2 pi. But we want from 0 to uh, 6 pi. Therefore I can change the plot value by this command. I can give a, I can give the uh, array, I mean a vector where I want the x to change from 0 to 6 multiplied by pi okay now my figure is uh, redrawn you can see that uh, this one changes 6 by 6 into uh, almost uh, 318 point something therefore as the value of x increases the exponential value approaches to uh, 0 right then the next question generate 10 random integer numbers we can generate the random numbers by a simple for, for command called as RAND. Suppose if I say RAND of 5, then it generates 5 cross by random numbers, 5 rows and 5 number of columns, and all random numbers are in between 0 to 1. But I don't want 5 into 5, 25 random numbers. I want only 5 random numbers, therefore I can modify random of 1 comma of 10. That means I want one row with 10 columns. 10 random numbers to be generated therefore here you can see that almost all random numbers are in the range 0 to 1 if I multiply these random numbers divided multiplied by 10 then you can see that this one I get uh, one digit this one 3.17 same thing if I multiply by 100 then I will get two digit random numbers right I want in the question integer random numbers are there therefore the same function I can use if function which is called as fix which will eliminate the fraction and we will get only the integer part therefore this one is 49 95 34 56 like this totally 10 random numbers are generated the next one let us generate random numbers in the range of 1 to 6 we shall follow the same thing let us as usual we shall go here and uh, here I want 10 random numbers and instead of 100 if I multiply by 6 then you can see that almost all numbers are only from 0 to 5 but the question is random numbers from 1 to 6 therefore the simple way is simply I can add 1 so that uh, I will not get 0 the minimum value itself will become 1 
so that you can see that these are the uh, six random numbers in I mean ten random numbers in the range of one to six. Again, I can generate this way. I can every time I can generate where I can get one, two, and three here, four here, five and six, almost uh, six random numbers we get. The next question: Create a vector of ten equally spaced from zero to pi by two. Now there is another command in MATLAB which will divide the intervals. For example, linear space, a lin space, linear space. What is the starting value? Suppose one, and what is the ending value? Suppose the ending value is equal to five. And how many intervals? How many numbers you want in between? Suppose I want three numbers in between. Then I get like this: one, then three, then five. Three numbers I get. The starting value is one, and the ending value is equal to five. The same concept we can use here. I want the linear space from zero, and the end value is equal to pi by two. And how many numbers we want? We want ten numbers. Pi by two, you know that this is three point one four, which is equal to one point five seven. Therefore, starting value equal to zero, ending value is one point five seven, and there are ten equally divided numbers between zero to uh, pi by two. Right. The next question is find the prime numbers below twenty five. That is. What is a prime number? A number which is not divisible by any number other than one and by itself is called as a prime number. For example, twenty-five is divisible by five, therefore it is not a prime number. And uh, for example, if I take eleven, eleven is not divisible. Either one can divide or that number itself can divide. No number divides it, therefore eleven is a prime number. In MATLAB, I can generate the prime numbers. The primes are I want prime all the primes up to twenty-five. Therefore, I get primes of 25. So 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. 11. All these are prime numbers because no number can divide this number except one and itself. Okay, for four has not come because four is divisible by two. Eight is not there because it is divisible by two and four. Four and here eighteen is not a prime number because it is divisible by nine. And likewise, twenty is divisible by two, ten, five, so on. Right. Next question. Find the sum of the natural numbers from one to hundred. Now, in, in school, we studied this, n multiplied by n plus one divided by two. This is the normal formula for the sum of the series. Now, I make n is equal to hundred, and now I want n multiplied by n plus one whole divided by two. This will give me fifty into fifty. That is the sum of one plus two plus up to hundred. Or a simple way is. I can create a vector from one to hundred. Now i ranges from one to hundred. Now simply I can find the value of sum of i, sum of all the elements, all the values of i. Now here we get the same answer, fifty fifty. Either you can use the sum of i where i is a vector, or we can use the formula of n into n plus one. Right. The next one, print your name and address. Now there are two ways in we can print the, your name. The one way is You can use the display command. Suppose display, I can say, say this one is hello, welcome. Otherwise, I will write my my college name, say Islamia College. Okay, this is one way where you can display. Otherwise, there is uh, people who are familiar in the C language. Uh, we they may be aware of the print if statement. Here also, equal and if print if statement is there. Here also, I can say Islamia College. Even I can use the control character, escape characters, and here I can say new town. And uh, okay, then again in the next line I can say what. Okay, I enclose whatever English, whatever string is there within single quotation. Now this will also display Islamia College has come in one line. The slash n has made to go for the next line. Then again the slash n, the city, the town name comes one and one. This way either I can use the display command or I can use the if print if statement. Okay, then print your name in reverse. For example, if you want to print the characters in reverse name, for example, if I if I take let's say name Yan is equal to suppose I if I take this one equal to Islam in college. Okay, this itself is an array. For example, I can get the value of five. Yan of five means I can get the fifth character. So this is one, two, three, four, fifth character Yan. So this way I can extract from last character to the first character going in the reverse direction. Therefore, I want n. Okay, now this one n half. Okay, from end last character to the first character, and every time my step value is equal to minus one. So now I get the college name in is reversed. So the first character comes to the last, and the last character comes to the first. 
Okay, now likewise here this one, this is the simple uh, uh, root of a quadratic equation x equal to minus b plus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Find the value of uh, this one if a, b, c are these values. So here with this one is simple only. I can initialize the value a is equal to the value of a is equal to 2 and I can put a semicolon to suppress and b is equal to minus 10 b equal to minus 10 and I put semicolon to suppress it and c is equal to 2 1 right these are my values of a b c now I can get back the value of a I can get back the value of b or c now I can find x now say for example say r is equal to minus b then plus for square root I have the function sqrt of b square b power 2 minus 4 multiplied by a multiplied by c the entire thing entire numerator is to be divided by the entire denominator 2 multiplied by a if uh, if you do not put this bracket then it will be first divided by 2 then it will be multiplied by 2 so here we have taken the hierarchy first we calculate the numerator then again we calculate the denominator and the entire numerator is divided by the entire denominator and here i get the root value is equal to 3 all right almost it's time now we shall continue the remaining uh, uh, problems in our next uh, uh, video thank you so much